Hi, I'm Josh, and today I'm going to be doing something else. I've done the Prophecies campaign for Guild Wars 1, but um, Guild Wars 2 is also a nice game. <laughs> this isn't your regular Guild Wars 2, though. This is a holiday in Guild Wars 2. This is the April Fool's holiday, and yes, it's May, and it's still going. It's called the Super Adventure Box. It's a Mario game inside Guild Wars 2, and I'm going to be playing some of it. Specifically, I'm going to be playing normal normal mode. The music is a bit loud, well, for me anyway. Nice. I've already played some of it. We start our journey in the sunny glade, confident we will find the princess. Yeah, this is essentially Mario winning Guild Wars 2. It's good fun. Let's turn the music down a little bit. I don't quite remember where to get the key here. But that doesn't matter. This music is really good. Oh yeah. Look at this. It's so much fun. And it, unlike regular Guild Wars, you can jump. And this is all about jumping. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do World 1. This video, the entirety of it. Okay, well, too bad. This is, by the way, my Guild Wars 2 character. It's a Guardian, it's Silvari. Silvari don't show up in Guild Wars 1. There are species that emerge between games. They're amazing. They're naive, they're heroic, they're plant, plant people. And of course, I've given my Silvari some plant armor. There's also a hard mode version of this uh, game mode, which is called Tribulation Mode, which is really hard. Like, you kinda need a lot of knowledge of the game, not, not knowledge of the, the minigame, and uh, Infinite Continue Coin in order to survive it. I think I have an Infinite Continue Coin? Yeah, I do. So you can just trial and error it infinitely. Now, I'm not going to do hard mode this run, not because it's it's going to take me like an hour per level to get through, because I don't remember all the details of the map. And they're vicious things, like half the, half the grass here would be invisible spike pits. Thankfully, that's not the case here. Thankfully, this is a bit more manageable. But I do think I remember that there's a glitch thing here, a bonus glitch. Yes! It's a time jumping puzzle. I need to hurry. I need to hurry. Nice. So that's the end of the level. Like I said, I'm gonna do all of World 1 in one video because it's very short and very easy. And I'm gonna do one video for each of the levels in World 2. Just as a bit of an intermission, as a bit of a palate cleanser, while I consider doing the second Guild Wars 1 campaign, recording the second Guild Wars 1 campaign. If you really want me to do the Guild Wars 1, the second Guild Wars 1 campaign, you can, like, leave a message. But by the time I publish these videos, I'm probably going to have already made my, my mind. Am I forgetting anything? Nah, not really. Party time! Huh. The glitch thing didn't deploy. I think I might have made a mistake there. Eh. I may have not attacked the glitch... Um, the glitch uh, deploying object, I don't recall. 
Not too bad. I'll do that in the next level. I don't actually need any of the glitch, uh, glitch weapons that might drop from the chest here. I've unlocked their appearance already. Yeah, dodge rolling is a thing here in this game. Not just in the minigame, but in Guild Wars 1 in and of itself. Yes! I did get a glitch chest. And lots of money. Lots of baubles. The, this minigame has a currency called baubles. They're cute. Let's go. Oh boy. Right, we're going to the second level. Annual Super Adventure Box Nostalgia. World 1, classic. And Zone Runner. That's what I'm doing right now. Off camera, I'm also going to do World 1 and World 2 Challenge Mode. Now we venture into the dark woods where shadows loom. This isn't very hard either. Uh, what I need to do is do World 3 as well, because apparently new things have... This year, new things have emerged in World 3. I've got like three days left to do it in real life. So I might or might not bother. Don't know. Uh, there's always next year. I could, in theory, also do some races, but I don't want to. I kind of half remember all these levels. I don't. I mean, the the basic path to the destination I remember perfectly, but all the other stuff I kind of half remember, like where to find chests and keys, and all the mini events. I do have a good memory of where the where the glitch uh, stones are. Hmm. I think I'm. I don't know for sure, but in between uh, the Cantha campaign and the Alona campaign, if we get that far, I might actually do some real Guild Wars 2 stuff. Don't know. As you can see, I am pretty agile at this. I've actually done hard mode like dozens of times. I don't remember quite what for, but I think it's... Oh yeah, it was for a weapon set. A special weapon set. And I've got the entire weapon set of, of like, special colored uh, Super Adventure Box sets. So I never have to do that again. <laughs> I spent weeks doing this, this minigame on hard mode. It was tremendous fun at the time. Okay, where do I go now? Uh... Not you. I got a speed boost. I don't quite recall where to go now. I think the correct answer is up. Whee! Yeah, the monkeys are an annoyance. They actually get worse next level. Next level is like a more difficult version of this. Now imagine if half of these trees were all covered in invisible punji sticks that only activate once you die on them. Yeah. It's pretty hellish. I don't think this is the way to go, but there's something nice here. 20 bucks. This water tastes improper. It's like an English, English translation, a bad English translation. The Asura who made this is called Moto. Asura are the big-eyed, uh, alien-looking people. Chupacabra-looking people. Okay, time to focus for a moment. Yes. Glitch area, level number two. Oh yeah. A strange daily chest awaits you at the end of this zone. Yes, it does. Right, let's go. So 
So yeah, um, the Asura who made this game is called uh, Moto, as in as a homage to Shigeru Miyamoto, of course. Okay, we need to get back up. I think there was a jumping pad. Yeah, there we go. Jumping pads here. Spooter's almost got me. But he didn't. Good. Yay. Will this do? I believe it will. This is a lot harder to do in hard mode. In, sorry, in tribulation mode. Yeah, this is fine. Oh look, another piece of grass you can... Yeah, 20 balls. Well, time to take some damage from the poison water. Doesn't matter too much. And now... Oh, darn. <laughs> I actually missed. He didn't drop any healing items. Too bad. Well, if I do die, I die. Boing! So I dropped a uh, mushroom so that I can jump back up if necessary. Uh-oh, he's gonna do a laser spin. He did not do a laser spin. He did something invisible. That's not supposed to be happening. Come on, fall, you wretch. I've got a miniature of Mox, you know, the golem I have with me every once in a while? In my Guild Wars 1 playthrough? Yeah. I've got a miniature of that creature. It endures to this day, it still exists to this day, Mox. Because, you know, it's a giant robot, it doesn't die. There's a few other people from Guild Wars 1 who still exist in Guild Wars 2. Ogden Stone Healer, for one. He's the guild master for one of the three guilds you can join. One of the three uh, agencies. I can't open the super loot bag, but uh, that's fine. On to level three. World one, zone three. Okay. We must enter the kingdom of fungus, where tills are told of a terrifying tyrant. Let's do it. More rewards, yay. Once we're done with World 1, I'm probably gonna exchange some of these baubles. Because that's too much money. I can only get up to 999. Uh -huh. I'm also nearly dead, as you can see. Oh, okay, I just got <laughs> captured by some plants. I can burn the plants. With one of the, I All these objects you see in my action bar, I've gathered them throughout the worlds. And you keep them between playthroughs, which is quite nice. As you can see, I have essentially mastered all of it. I want that toad dead, because I want some piece of food that I can use to... Yes, to heal. Thank you. More bee dogs. Every level in World 1 has a bee dog mini-boss, uh, which drops a bunch of um, baubles. But I'm not in the mood for that right now. I'm not primarily gathering baubles right now. Is this the correct way? Yeah, I think so. This is where things get a bit hazy because I kind of forget how to do this in normal mode. I think this is the correct path. Well, a correct path, certainly. So it is. And I'm fully healed again. Yay. Spoink. Let's go. Uh, no, that's not the way we're going. We're going this- oh, balls. Thank you, I guess. He didn't harm me. Is this the correct way? I mean, it's a correct way. I know there's a- there's a shop down there, at least. That's not my destination. My destination is thus. 
yeah. This is where I fall sometimes. Don't don't mess around, Josh. Just go. Yeah, this is the hard part. Okay. Whew. Now all we need to do is unlock the glitch zone for uh, the glitch uh, box for this area. Yeah. Did we actually get any glitch weapons? No, we didn't. Not yet. Would be nice. I still, I'm still missing a glitch weapon from this area. And once I get it, it's unlocked, uh, which means I can um, transmute one of my other weapons into it. I can change the looks of things into other things. Yeah, this is some Donkey Kong stuff with the crocodile named after I don't remember. Okay, how do I get up here again? I think it's... Ugh. Yes. No, yes. Ow. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, this is the way. This is not my favorite jump. Yeah, okay. Let's go! Don't you want some bounce? Come on. Nope. Ooh, that's bad. No, no, no. no. That can happen. Okay, back in business. Sorry. Yep, okay, thank you. Let's move to the other side. Oh, God. Whew, I'm not in the poison long enough for to tack over. Now I am. Whew. <laughs> Relax. Just Nope, that didn't work. Ah, I didn't even jump that way. Yes! Okay. Okay. This is one of the harder ones. This is why at each each level in World 2 will make an episode. No, no, no. No. Okay. No. I know you can do it. How about I go there instead? There we go. No, no, careful. Up we go. Almost there. Okay. Whew. Okay. And I see that glitch thing. Let's throw a bomb at it. Equip bombs. Throw bomb. Too low. Okay. Yes. Daily chest awaits you at the end of this zone, and I might die! Ooh, that's a locked chest. Can't do much with that. Oh. Well. Good news, I'm at least rich. Alright, let's hope these guys have some healing items for me. They do not. I might die. Well, not too bad. I've got inf infinite continues anyway. Let's see to what extent I can defeat the boss. Yeah, it's a giant frog. This is not human made, eh? This is Asura made, presumably. We take the jewel shard and we put it in the creature's mouth. Guild Wars 2 has this kind of boss mechanic all the time. Fighting this thing actually reminds me of fighting Abaddon in Guild Wars 1 Nightfall. Let's go. Yep, he's gonna stomp left. I'm doing this on one health, so I better, I better watch out. I think he needs to take one more jewel shard. Can't quite, yeah, 9%. What's she gonna do, boy? Nope. One other? Okay, left side again. Yeah, Dark Souls it ain't. Mainline Guild Wars 2 is I guess, a lot like Dark Souls, actually. It's really hard to evade everything. 
Alright, I'm uh, down to one health, but I beat the guy. <laughs> I got a continued coin and a glitched adventure scepter. Now, that one's already unlocked for me. Too bad. So I'm gonna sell it. Yeah, just asking. Actually, not asking price. Let's do 85. <laughs> Undercut ev everyone else by like a vast margin. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. And then press this button to travel back to the hub. 12, 11, 10. Yeah. I, I forget often that I have a boomerang. I should use that more often. That would have been a lot easier than the bombs, but I forgot. Ooh, extracurricular activities completed. Let us destroy that cart. Exuberant and rambunctious. Yeah, this is um, a very basic method of um, earning a bit of extra money. It's a bonus thing. We're hitting the minecart, we're demolishing it. We do need to pick up the baubles or they'll disappear. Thankfully, these, this melee weapon that I have is a second tier melee weapon, which has a longer range than just the stick, which is a level one melee weapon. Okay, got, I got 15 seconds more of this. And then uh, I'm gonna head back to the main hub. Some other stuff I need to do is win the big race event inside the hub. And a bunch of other daily Guild Wars 2 stuff if I feel like it. <laughs> ah, my cart! I only had six more payments on it! <laughs> Sorry, man. Let's get out of here. Back to the hub. Like I said, I'm going to trade in these uh, baubles for bubbles. And eventually those bubbles can be traded in for weapons and stuff. Yeah. Let's have a look. I'd like some bubble bubbles. Yeah. Three's fine. There goes most of my money. Right, thanks for watching. Next up, we're gonna do uh, World 2, Part 1.